Well, Mark, I was just saying, you've got great player availability on the track at this time of the year. Um, yeah, we've been pretty fortunate, which is um, which is always nice. You never really never really know how it's sort of going to um, unfold sometimes with, with pre-season. And um, it's, it's, a, it's a great sign that you do um, take it when you can get it, really. And, and as you could probably tell, sort of this morning, just um, coming off the track, fair few numbers. And it's... It's not only good from a you know a whole list point of view, but from a, an energy and, and you know belief point of view, to have so many players out there at this stage is, is a good thing. So um, hopefully we can continue in that in that sort of fashion. Does it feel much different being captain this year? Um, it hasn't felt too different to be honest with you, which is um, hopefully a, I guess a good sign in terms of um, you know I guess my leadership and, and, and how I can and can hopefully influence the group going forward. So um, there's been some some changes obviously from you know just a not a lifestyle point of view, but things you've got to think about a little bit more. But um, it seems like it's been a pretty sort of smooth transition so far, which is which is good. How are you as a leader? You're a bit like Easton or a bit different, do you think? I think we've all probably, amongst the leadership group, got our own sort of styles. And um, Woody was, was obviously a great captain and, and leader um, sort of before I was. So I probably have... Um, you know, followed a number of his, his sort of traits and, and tried to implement a lot of the things that he's probably taught me with his um, just ability to, to be caring in, in sort of his personality and whatnot all the way throughout, um, you know, our journey together. And um, same goes with probably Bob Murphy and, and, you know, even Matthew Boyd and Dale Morris and these types of fellows who've been, I guess, my leaders when I was first sort of growing up at the football club um, and their ability to probably, you know, obviously influence on the field, but their greater probably influence off. So trying to do those things both is really important. Yeah. How's Alex Keith fitting into that tackle? Right? Going well, yeah. I think um, him and Brucey obviously came in through the trade period of both fitted in almost seamlessly. Like there, there's such quality sort of people and professionals that um, that that makes it easy, I guess, to, to have them obviously come into the group and, and have an impact straight away. And I guess as a group, that's what you want them to feel. You want them to feel comfortable straight away, so they can feel like it's like it's home pretty quickly. And um, Keithy's done sort of everything right. Um, from a rehab point of view, and um, he's obviously now on track to, to play in the Marsh games, which is which is a really good sign and, and good for us to be able to build some sort of chemistry with him and and Joshy. So um, yeah, going well, which is good. The rest of the guys a bit of a lift having those two quality guys coming in as bookends. Yeah, it certainly does, particularly from a I guess a maturity point of view. We obviously quite a young team even still and um, young in probably experience and, and age as well so to add you know two blokes who've both been around a, a little while um, and obviously know how they can play is, is a it was a big win for us so um, yeah looking forward to it. A lot of external hype about the club this year given the way you finished last year is it something you embrace or are you something you shy away from how do you sort of handle it? Yeah I think it's it's you know it's been a I think constant throughout your, your career a little bit is that there's ebbs and flows in, in whether it's hype or um, you know at times where you're not going so well it can go the other way as well. But I think for now it, you're pretty focused internally about you know what we're trying to, to work on and yeah I guess you understand that there's going to be at different times a little bit more whether it's expectation or attention from from that point of view and I guess if you look at it in a in a good way it's great that people obviously rate the football club and, and where we're at but. We certainly know there's a lot sort of water to go under the bridge, and we've got to meet probably our own expectations sort of first. So um, obviously you recognise that it's there, but continue to focus on you know what what's happening sort of here day in day out. Do you feel you're far off the pace setters in the competition the way you played in that second half of last year? Oh, I think we we you know made some ground for sure just from obviously our ability to, to score and an influence, and um, we were probably struggling to do that a little bit early on in the year. And um, clearly, you've got to kick goals to, to win games, and it was nice to have a few where we felt like we'd hit our stride from a, from a game plan and style point of view. So. Obviously, the top teams are incredibly uh, not just talented, but hardworking, and um, you can tell there's a synergy and, and chemistry. And then I guess that's what you're, you're chasing in a way, and also trying to forge your own path and, and um, do it sort of in our own our own way with our own style. So it feels like we're on the we're on the right track, but um, you know it's a new a new season. There's no givens in any sense. So um, we're hoping to continue on that sort of path, but um, you know it feels like the work's going going that way. You mentioned your ability to kick some scores last year, but maybe at times conceded um, mm. a few goals. Has that been particularly addressed? Has defence been a, a specific focus from Bevo? Yeah, it's been a definitely work on. You obviously at the end of the season identify the key parts of your game that, that have you know worked and, and help us win games, but the ones that have let us down at times. And yeah, being able to defend 
probably hole ground is something we could do a little bit better and it, it's certainly going to keep you in games a little bit longer and give you better chances. So um, just like every other part of our game, we, we've needed to improve. We've identified, you know, where we can do it and then what parts are going to help us to do that. So, you know, adding Keithy down back is, is a big one, but um, we've got to make sure we improve sort of across the ground as well and, and support that back six through the midfield and from a forward line point of view. So hopefully we can make some inroads, yeah. Excited by the state of origin clash. Yeah, it's it's you know I, I love the when the prospect got raised and then and it obviously came out the news about it. and I think everyone sort of felt um, an attraction towards it around wanting to you know help support and do something for um, you know a lot of people who've been affected in in different ways and um, you know the opportunity to play um, is great so um, hopefully it's a it's a great event for for all and we can um, you know hopefully you know put some smiles on faces and raise some money. Do you think people will be going 100 percent? Oh, it's hard to know. I guess yeah. Um, you know, it's an it's an important game to be playing in, but the messaging is probably the, the most important thing. And um, albeit you don't want anyone to get hurt, there'll still be some, I imagine, some feeling in it. But yeah, I guess the ultimate thing is you know being able to support those people and and keep our you know minds on on that you know while we're having the game. Yeah, you could be teammates with your old mate Toby Green. Yeah, potentially. Yeah, <laughs> um, which would be you know be an interesting one, of course. It, it's a good opportunity to do um, you know and play. With players from from other teams, and, and I think as you know, the current day players always look forward to opportunities like that. So yeah, we'll see what happens. Would be awkward. Oh, I don't think so. Yeah, it'd be all right. We're, once again, the the reason why we're having the game will be the most in, important thing, and um, you know, the past is the past in a way. So um, yeah, we'll see. You probably didn't learn lessons out of that final in terms of breaking the tag because it was you know a different kind of attention. But anything more in terms of you know tackling or different stuff as a club, given that you know, I think you guys have acknowledged they probably beat you up physically. Yeah, where the tackling specifically was our issue, I think it was just um, you know they had a strength from a physicality point of view that we probably didn't at that point in time. And um, there are a number of things probably that came out of the game from a style point of view as well, which which we identified. But um, you know as we grow and mature as footballers and as people, you understand the areas where you can improve on and um, it's obviously been a something for us to work on throughout the pre-season is adding a you know another physical part you know outside of the actual contest and um, you know we'll, we'll continue to try, sort of work on that as we go. Have you used much that as a sort of a motivator and set a theme for the year? Uh, not really to be honest with you we you know obviously reviewed the game like we would any other game and identified um, an opportunity for growth, more from our own perspective as a football club to improve rather than to use that as a singular sort of driving force. It, you know, it happened, it is sort of what it is, it's not the, the way that we wanted to finish the year, um, but being able to add, I guess, that element to our sort of repertoire would definitely help us in probably the context of the season anyway. Now, have you got the group to be physical like that? As you said, it's still pretty young and, you know, a Giants team, is, they've got a lot of senior bodies in it. Mm. Do you think you've got a group that can be real physical like that? Yeah, well, I think we can can definitely improve on it. That's that's was obviously made sort of pretty clear to us in, in that game. So um, I'm not going to put a definitive sort of yes on it because you know we still got to continue to keep our eyes on the game and, and the important things about the way we play and our style of football. So obviously there's a combative nature to the game that you've got to be prepared to deal with, and I think the group's really growing in, in that area. Do you don't have to wait long to face them round three. Do you think that's one that's a little bit circled in the calendar? Yeah, well, I think we've probably just over the over the journey we've obviously. Had had pretty strong games against the Giants in the past and they've always end up being pretty good sort of contests so you do always look forward as a play to the key sort of matchups and we're fortunate to have a you know another a nice sort of schedule so far for, for this year and playing on some some Fridays again is always nice and um, yeah I'm sure it'll be a good game a good contest for sure. Uh, Libba. How good to have him back out there. I know he's a couple of weeks away, but yeah, it is because um, Libba um, for for a long time, ever since I've sort of been at the club, has been you know a bit of heart and soul of the football club, and he's obviously got his ties you know that are deeper than just his own to the football club, and he's been around for for quite a few years now, and just to have him out there is a is a great pep up for the group all the time, and um, he's obviously had some you know knee injuries in the past and been able to you know. Um, get over them and, and, and passed and you know to have him back out there training is just a good lift for the group and good for himself um, and his family too. What kind of dad's Libby going to be? Yeah an eccentric one I can <laughs> imagine. Um, he, is, he is who he is Libby and we, we love his personality and, and what he brings to the football club um, so yeah the little one will definitely um, probably have a you know an eccentric twist as well I'm sure. <laughs>